COVID pneumonia, I mean, initially we all treated it like a viral pneumonia. So when the severity of the disease worsens, the, any hospital patients, when they get ill, there is always a risk of acute kidney injury. What it means is like your kidney function can deteriorate very quickly. So it is a sign of any severe illness. So we have to understand acute kidney injury will be an inevitable element if somebody becomes severely ill. So what I'm trying to say is that is some part of acute kidney injury is inevitable, but at the same time, there is a significant part of avoidable acute kidney injury, wherein by proactive measures, we can reduce the risk of acute kidney injury, which will be a significant factor in the outcome of their hospital journey. So what we saw, I mean, if you look at the reports from across the world, the risk of acute kidney injury varies quite uh, to the massive range, actually. I mean, some patients, some centers have reported less than 5% of AKI, uh, whereas some, some centers have uh, recorded up to 70, 80% of patients developing AKI. I think people shouldn't uh, get too worked up with the, how this can be a massive difference, but I think it depends on the criteria for hospital admission. So, some patients, so in some centers, they don't admit any until they need ventilator. They don't get them admitted because of the um, capacity issues. And then obviously, if you are admitting only the very sick patients, then you will also see a very high number of acute kidney injury. But I think in most parts of UK and our center, we saw around 20 to 25 percent of patients developing acute kidney injury of various degrees. And out of all the patients who had acute kidney injury, the severe ones, that is stage three acute kidney injury or the acute kidney injury who needs dialysis or some form of renal replacement therapy were about 10%. So um, the acute kidney injury management became one of the prime areas for us nephrologists during this COVID pandemic. So when, as we said, we divided into teams and we used to go in, identify patients. We get a list of all the patients in the hospital who have raised creatinine during that day in the morning. And then we look at them, look at their profiles, all the other tests and go and review them and give advice and get them tested and see what medications are there, whether we can stop some of the medications if somebody needs an uh, nephrological opinion to go and see, we used to go and see and minimize the risk of avoidable AKI.